Hey guys, today I want to talk about my favorite deck and I love this deck and it does tend to be the most expensive deck in modern, Jund. Uh, Jund is an absolute beast. Um, when I mean a beast, it's around $2,000 in paper. It is $1,927.32 to be exact. Uh, the reason why is because you are playing these very pricey cards. You're playing a playset of Tom Wars, so I'll go over the deck list. And again, it will be in the description below. Um, so, four Dark Confidants, that's going to set you back 160 bucks. Free Scouting Ooze, that's not too bad. Uh, four Tomogorfs, again, that's 600 plus dollars for those four. Two Tassigers, that's not bad. Four Inquisitions of Kojilak, those cards are more than 10 bucks now. Four Lightning Bolts, two Thought Seizes, two Abrupt Decays, two Terminates. Free Kologon's Command, that's a $10 card right now, holy crap. Uh, very good against Affinity though, and it's a 2 for 1 in Affinity all day long. Uh, 4 Liliana of the Veil, so if another $400 for a playset. 2 Master and Post. And here is where you get the main difference between uh, Jun and Absin. I mean, one costs $1,700 plus, the other costs about $2,000. Here's the difference is in the land base, 4 Black Cleave Cliffs. That's going to set you back $67. A Blood Crypt, a Four Bloodstained Mirrors, a Copper Lion Gorge, a Forest, a Overgrown Tomb, or two Overgrown Tombs, three Raising Ravines, and those are eight to nine dollar cards. Uh, a Stomping Grounds, two Swamps, a Verdant Catacombs, a uh, four Verdant Catacombs, that will set you back 220 bucks, at Wooded Foothills. And your sideboard is not any cheaper, uh, honestly. Uh, one Disfigure, a Doraz. One Thought Seas. I think you're playing, it looks like you're playing four Inquisitions and three Thought Seas total. Uh, three Ancient Grudge, two Feed the Clan. I love Feed the Clan, by the way. I love him foil too. One Drown in Sorrow, uh, four Fuminated Mages, that's another 84 bucks stacked on top, and two Hunt Master of the Fells. You might be like, okay, this is a $2,000 deck. It's just gonna win all day. No, not exactly. So it is very good against Infect, Amulet Bloom. Kind of good against Splinter Twin because it has a lot of removal. Not good against Infinity. Very bad against uh, Merfolk in RG Tron. And very, very bad against Abzan. So Abzan dominates this deck. Uh, it does so by creating more value. And to be quite honest, actually one of the decks has Olivia Vodarin. I love Olivia. Um, I think Olivia will find a home there. Uh, Black Cleef Cliffs is an absolute necessity of this deck, um, in my opinion, because you got to turn one Bolt, turn one Thought Seize, turn one Inquisition, and you got to hit up Liliana, you got to hit your Post, you got to hit, you got, your deck is cheap. You, you're not playing like heavy, Hunt Master, I think is the most expensive card in this deck, it looks like that way. Um, everything else is, oh, Tassiger, but then you're going to delve Tasker. you're not going to pay six for Tassiger. Deck is very good. I like it. Um, I don't think reprints are really going to affect the deck. The deck has always been around two thousand dollars, regardless of reprints or anything like that. Uh, the deck is a solid deck list. I'll have the deck list uh, as well as prices and even the decks matchups that it's favored against and not favored against, as well as percentages. So yeah. Um, that's it, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. Do you guys love this deck? Do you hate the deck? What do you guys think about it? Bye, guys.